Now basics of optometry is at your fingertips. Like and subscribe the channel to know more. Hello all. Today I will be discussing about concomitant isotropia. That means a non-paralytic isotropia. Non-paralytic isotropia means an amount of isodeviation is same in all the gaze positions. And if the amount of deviation is not same in all the gaze positions, that is called a paralytic isotropia. Basically, I will be discussing about infantile isotropia that is very much commonly seen in babies and that need to be intervened at the earliest. So, isotropy is a form of strabismus characterized by the inward turning of one or both eyes. So, it can be either unilateral or a bilateral squint. The eyes, eyeballs turn inwards. Okay, isotropy may be constant or intermittent. It may be present from birth or acquired during childhood or acquired during adulthood. But the childhood isotropy is a most frequent type. Uh, if it is uh, an acquired isotropia, basically it is found due to the uh, like uh, six nerve palsy. Okay, so let's come to the classification of isotropia. It is very very important to see. So primarily isotropia is classified into primary, secondary, and consecutive type. Primary isotropia is what we see. Secondary isotropia may be due to some cause uh, it is secondary to some cause okay consecutive isotropia means after surgery suppose the ch child was having an exotropia after surgery uh, the child was overcorrected and got a consecutive isotropia so this is consecutive so let's talk about this primary isotropia primary isotropia can be constant and intermittent so in constant isotropia it can be accommodative and non accommodative accommodative may be a partially or an uh, fully accommodative isotropia non accommodative isotropia in constant it is an infantile or a congenital isotropia may be an nystagmus blockage syndrome late onset isotropia microtropia or acute acquired con concomitant isotropia Intermittent isotropia means the isotropia is sometimes present and sometimes it is absent. Sometimes it is there is no isotropia. Okay, so it may be also it may be an accommodative or a non accommodative type. Uh, so it may be a fully accommodative or a convergence excess isotropia. In case of non accommodative intermittent isotropia, it may be a near isotropia, a distance isotropia, or a cyclical isotropia. So let's talk about non-accommodative isotropia here and other lectures I will be discussing about the other types in details. So basically I will discuss about the infantile isotropia. So there is a development of non-accommodative large angle convergence squint prior to 6 months of age. This is the clinical features of non-accommodative isotropia or infantile isotropia. Okay. Uh, the squint, the amount of deviation is greater, usually greater than the 40 prism diopter, 40 prism diopter base out we require, okay. And very important, one more very important thing is that presence of cross fixation. So, what is a cross fixation? So, the baby, when a baby looks at the right side, he looks with his left eye instead of the right eye. And when he looks at the left side, he looks with his right eye. So, here you can see in this uh, figure okay the baby is looking at the right side okay but with the left eye is fixating the left eye is crossed same way the baby is looking at the left side but with the right eye you can see the right eye is fixating and looking at the left side so the baby's eyes are crossed this is called cross fixation so parents sometimes do notice but sometimes uh, ignore this but this uh, should be brought into limelight at the earliest the clinical features of uh, isotropia, it definitely appears infantile isotropia means from birth that is 0 to 6 months of age isotropia appears and there is a, a larger deviation of 40 prism diopter base out is present. There is a manifest latent nystagmus, there is cross fixation as we discussed and there may be presence of DVD. DVD is a dissociated vertical deviation means in one eye there is a vertical deviation, other eye there is horizontal deviation in both eyes there may be horizontal deviation okay but in one eye along with the horizontal deviation there is also a vertical deviation why dissociated because this vertical deviation is only present in one eye so that's why it is called a dissociated vertical deviation okay and therefore there is an inferior oblique overaction so coming to the management of infantile isotropia it needs to be gets operated at the earliest so if 
the child uh, comes to a doctor so the eye surgeon definitely wants to get it operated at the earliest so the surgeon prefers to do a bimedial recession okay instead of a resection and a recession of the other lateral rectus and all the surgeon prefers to do a bimedial recession okay now if the child suppose has got operated for isotropia okay congenital isotropia and all but the isotropia has still remained or the isotropia has again come back to the child so the, if the child comes to your clinic suppose at seven or eight years of age or six years of age when the child is a verbal child and a very cooperative child so that time definitely you should try with a vision therapy why how to do see if the child is having a convergence excess type isotropia you can do definitely you can give a, a brock sting exercise to train the divergence okay you can give a aperture ruler okay to train the divergence okay uh, and also you can do a life saver card so in case of divergence insufficiency or a convergence excess type isotropia what we can do we can give a life saver card how to do that so life saver card the transparent life saver card sheet should be given there will be red green uh, circles okay he will be wearing a red green goggles and he has to uh, hold a pen pen tip behind the transparent sheet okay and he has to slowly move the pen and make the circle means fuse diverge diverge is size the circles will be fused to form the third circle in the between okay so this how this is how we can actually manage the cases of infantile isotropia first option is definitely surgery and if the child is grown up and all then we can definitely try with the vision therapy thank you all